Well, Glenda and Dave, it was right around in this area here, I-94 in Trumbull, where Allen Park resident Devin Cronk was seen on camera doing donuts on the interstate behind me here, shutting it down for several minutes. Not only are those stunts dangerous, but also reckless. But these drifters say they want to continue doing these stunts, but in a safe place. At the end of the day, we're trying to have some fun. And it's just the way we have fun. It's dangerous, reckless, and it puts people's lives at risk. Vice News, HBO taking a hard look at drifting in Detroit and Michigan. At the end of the day, it's never no violence. It's never a problem, you know, besides burning rubber and tires and noise. That's it. This man who we spoke to wants to be called D. He and his friend Will belong to a car club in Detroit with about 500 members. Right now, the two men say they're not out drifting on the streets of Detroit. Spring time's coming. The lot's coming. We only got a few more weeks or months until it be here, so just hold off. Recently, this video of Devin Cronk shutting down a section of I-94 really got Chief James Craig's blood boiling. Now, D and Will are working with the chief so they can do what they love somewhere safe and out of harm's way. Some things is uh, still on hold as far as like where exactly the location is, but we do know by the spring we will have a lot and will be legal. D and Will say they've met with Chief James Craig four or five times in the past. They plan on meeting with him in the near future, but say they're glad that things are progressing so they can eventually find a lot where they can do these stunts safe and sound. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Glenda.